How to Read a Person Like a Book is a book written by Gerard I. Nirenberg and Henry H. Calero. The book is focused on improving communication and understanding others by interpreting nonverbal cues and body language. It aims to help readers decipher hidden meanings in conversations and interactions. Here is a summary of some key points from the book. Body language. The book emphasizes the importance of observing a person's body language, facial expressions, gestures, and posture. These nonverbal cues can reveal emotions and intentions that might not be expressed verbally. Mirroring. Mirroring involves subtly mimicking the body language of the person you're interacting with. This can create a sense of rapport and connection, making the other person feel more comfortable and understood. Eye contact. Eye contact is a powerful tool for gauging interest, honesty, and engagement. Maintaining appropriate eye contact shows confidence and attentiveness, while avoiding eye contact might indicate discomfort or deception. Gestures. People often use hand gestures to emphasize points or convey feelings. Understanding the meaning behind these gestures can provide insights into a person's emotions and thoughts. Vocal tone and speed. Pay attention to the way someone speaks. Changes in vocal tone, speed, and volume can indicate shifts in emotions or intentions. For example, a sudden increase in volume might signify frustration or excitement. Microexpressions. Microexpressions are fleeting facial expressions that reveal genuine emotions. These can occur in a fraction of a second and may contradict the person's verbal communication. Space and proximity. People have varying levels of comfort with personal space. Pay attention to how close someone stands or sits in relation to others, as it can reflect their comfort level and relationship dynamics. Clusters of cues. Instead of relying on a single cue, look for clusters of consistent nonverbal cues to accurately interpret someone's emotions or intentions. A single cue might be misleading, but when multiple cues align, they provide a more reliable insight. Context matters. Consider the context in which the interaction takes place. Different situations can influence body language and nonverbal cues. What might mean one thing in one context could mean something else in another. Practice empathy. Empathy is key to understanding others. Put yourself in the other person's shoes and try to understand their perspective, emotions, and motivations. Cultural differences. Be aware that nonverbal cues can vary widely across cultures. What is considered polite or appropriate in one culture might be seen differently in another. Self-awareness. As you learn to read others, also become more aware of your own nonverbal cues. This self-awareness can help you better control your own signals and communicate more effectively. Remember that while nonverbal cues can offer valuable insights, they are not foolproof indicators of a person's thoughts or feelings. It's important to use these skills as part of a holistic approach to communication and to always consider the broader context of the interaction. Read this book now. Link in description.